we're talking about force vibrations, resonance. Now, in order to have resonance, we need two things. We need two objects. Both objects have to have the same natural frequency. That's step one. I need to have two objects. Both of those objects must have the same natural frequency. So let's look at one object. Let's look at a tuning fork. Now, you strike the tuning fork. The tuning fork will shake. It'll vibrate at its natural frequency. And you can see it's producing waves. These waves travel through the air. Let's take a screenshot of this. Here's a screenshot of our waves. So looking at this image, you want to try to find the compressions because that's going to help us find our waves traveling through the air. So you want to find those moment of compressions. I'm going to draw red lines through the compressions to make it easier to identify. So there goes our waves. These are our compressions. You can tell because the molecules are closer together. Now these compressions will travel through the air. They'll make a sound, whatever the natural frequency of the tuning fork is, it'll make that sound. Now we said at the very beginning, we need two objects to create resonance. So here's our two objects. We have a black tuning fork and an orange tuning fork. Step, you know, something else. They have to have the same natural frequency. And in this case, they do. So if I strike this black tuning fork, it'll start to vibrate. So let's look at the waves that it creates if I strike it. Okay, there are the waves. The waves are occurring at, at a certain frequency, you know, whatever the natural frequency of this tuning fork is. And when it gets to this orange tuning fork, when these waves reach the orange orange tuning fork, it'll force it to vibrate. So we'll see, it'll force this orange one to vibrate. There you go, creating it to oscillate at the same frequency. So then they'll both start shaking basically. Let's look at that in a simulation. Okay, so now we have two tuning forks. Let's say that these tuning forks have two different natural frequencies. One will oscillate, but the other will stay still. It will not move. It won't be forced to move. However, if they have the same natural frequency, they will move. So let's look at what happens if they happen to have the same natural frequency. Now you see that they're both moving with the same frequency. Because of the first one moving, the first tuning fork is, is, is shaking or oscillating. When those waves travel through the air and reach the second tuning fork, it'll begin to oscillate also. That's force vibration. That's the second object vibrating without being touched. It's being forced to by waves traveling through the air.